hi friends in this video we are going to discuss about the chi square distribution it is also a variant of gamma distribution in probability theory chi square distribution is the distribution of a sum of the squares of n independent standard normal random variables this might be little confusing and complex so i will explain by one example for example, I am taking scores of 500 students in chemistry and literature. So there is 500 students and I am taking their marks in two subjects, chemistry and literature. Firstly, let us call the marks in chemistry as X1 and literature by X2. Firstly, I will standardize this score. So from X1, I will get Z1 standardized value of the marks in chemistry here i will get z2 then i will square it z1 square z2 square then i will sum the squares so this is the sum of squares of two independent standard normal random variables this new variable sum as a distribution called chi-square distribution with two degrees of freedom. The degrees of freedom of this distribution is equal to the number of standard normal random variables summed together. Here we have added two standard normal random variables, so we have two degrees of freedom. If we are adding n standard normal random variables, then we will have n degrees of freedom. So, what we are looking here, for example, this sum, what is the probability that this sum will be greater than 6 or this sum will be less than 5? This kind of questions can be answered using the chi-square distribution. So, firstly, I will derive the density of chi-square distribution. Then we will talk about its MGF and how it is related to gamma distribution because it is also a variant of gamma distribution. So simply I am taking one squared standard normal random variable. Then it will be distributed as chi square 1. That means it is with degrees of freedom 1. Let us suppose a standard normal random variable Z1. So I am taking square. So it is distributed as chi square 1. It means with degrees of freedom 1. I am assuming this Z1 square as equal to Y then cdf of y can be written as f of y equal to probability of capital y less than or equal to small y this is simply the cdf of this distribution so substituting the value of y i can write this as probability of z1 square less than or equal to y this can be rewritten as probability of minus root y less than or equal to z1 less than or equal to root y this z is distributed as standard normal with mu 0 and variance 1 this can be rewritten as less than or equal to root y minus probability of z1 less than or equal to minus root y now I am introducing two notation. This is just for derivation purpose. Otherwise, no any importance for that. This notation for CDF and this notation for PDF. So this can be written as as it is normal and symmetric this can be rewritten as this is equal to so this is nothing but cdf of y if i differentiate this i will get the pdf so I am differentiating this with respect to y. So I will get the PDF. This notation is for CDF, 
for pdf this is the notation so i will use chain rule here so firstly i will get like this then i will differentiate this root y root y is basically equal to this can be differentiated as then this times so i can cancel out this two so we are left with this is nothing but notation for pdf and this root y is equal to z1 and z1 is distributed as standard normal then we can write the pdf of root y is equal to 1 by root 2 pi e power minus root y square it becomes y by 2 times so this is the result which we have found after differentiating the cdf it might be equal to some pdf but we are doing some more algebraic operation on that and we will finally get one pdf that is the pdf of chi square distribution we know that root pi is basically equal to gamma 1 by 2 we will substitute this value in this equation so we will get 1 by root 2 gamma 1 by 2 and this can be written as y power 1 by 2 minus 1 e power minus y by 2 and this root 2 can be written as if i substitute this value into this formula finally i can write this 1 by 2 power 1 by 2 y power 1 by 2 minus 1 e power minus y by 2 all divided by gamma 1 by 2 this is nothing but a gamma distribution with parameters 1 by 2 and 1 by 2 because this is the n n is 1 by 2 and this is the lambda that is also 1 by 2 so basically z1 square is equal to chi square 1 that is also equal to gamma with 1 by 2 and 1 by 2 so if i add two standard normal random variables z1 square plus z2 square that will be distributed as chi square with degrees of freedom 2 in other words it will be equal to gamma 2 by 2 and 1 by 2 this lambda value will not change at all but here it will change according to the number of random variables we are summing together so summation of z i square i takes value from 1 to n it will be distributed as chi square with degrees of freedom n and it will be equal to gamma n by 2 and 1 by 2 so this is the relation between gamma distribution and chi square distribution as it is a variant of gamma distribution then it is very easy to find the mgf of chi square distribution we can use the mgf of gamma mgf of gamma that we already know that if gamma is distributed with parameters n and lambda then it is mgf is given as lambda divided by lambda minus t power n so in chi square distribution lambda is equal to 1 by 2 that is constant and instead of n we have in chi square distribution as n by 2 so if i put the values of this into the formula of mgf for chi square distribution i can write like this one divided by one minus two t all power n by two so this is the mgf of chi square distribution with degrees of freedom n so if i differentiate this i will get the first moment and second moment i can use it to find the mean and the variance of chi square distribution we can use other way as well we can use the formula of gamma distribution and we will put the values of lambda and n to that so we will get the mean and variance of chi square distribution for example the mean of gamma distribution is equal to n by lambda 
so here instead of n we will write n by 2 and instead of lambda we will write 1 by 2 so we will get n as the mean of chi square distribution so the mean of the chi square distribution is equal to it is degrees of freedom n is nothing but degrees of freedom the same way variance of gamma distribution is equal to n by lambda square getting the corresponding variance in chi square distribution n by 2 1 by 2 square so i can cancel this and i will get 2 times n so this is nothing but the variance of chi square distribution so n is basically the degrees of freedom the chi square distribution is very important because many test statistics are approximately distributed as chi square distribution for example there are many usage for chi square distribution we are using for finding the confidence interval for variance and we are using this for testing the goodness of it testing the independence so far in this video we started by the chi square distribution we connected that with the gamma distribution we derived its pdf from the pdf we derived its mgf and we also talked how this is used